Hello YouTube, and welcome to a new Unity 3D Space tutorial. So last tutorial we made it, so when we fire our missile, it fires straight forward. It worked perfect. But one thing what we're going to do today is make it so that it actually it's a heat seeking missile. So if you have selected a target, it'll fly towards the target. Otherwise, it won't. And it's really, really simple. So, the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to go to our um, scripts folder, and we'll go to our weapons. Uh, here and we'll create a new script in space right click in fact we'll, yeah we'll do it in space JavaScript and we'll call it single waypoint in fact we'll not call it single waypoint we'll call it heat seeking and then we'll attach that to our missile in our resources and missile heat seeking attach it to that so we'll open this up so first thing we need to do is create a target for it. Really simple. So it's like var target, and this will be a game object. That simple. So we're not going to manually assign the target because we need the user to assign it, but we can do that in a minute. So we've got a function update here. So in here we need to first create the parameters, the variables for the character to fly towards it. So the first thing is we need the actual location of the target. So we type var um by the way, new target and this will equal be a vector three and it'll equal to target dot transform dot position minus transform dot position and using that one line we can now go if new target dot magnitude is less than five then we can do that but do we really want to do less than five? We don't really because then it'd follow up, stop near him, and carry on. We don't want it to do that. So instead of using magnitude in here, or we could we could just put zero, but what this waste of space. So instead we're just gonna straight away add velocity to it and tell it to look at the target, then it should work. So what we're gonna first do is give it some force, say here, fire. So we're gonna type rigid body dot velocity equals new target times then we give it some speed so we'll say 800 I believe that's what we forced it out at so it'll fire towards the actual thing so doing this we won't actually have to add force to it so if we go back to unity and go to our character and find space fire when we actually fire a missile we don't need to give it force no more so we can get rid of that force so instead we tell it to actually follow something now there. But the only issues with this is we've got the dot normalized, so dot normalized. And if you don't understand what that does, go back because I honestly can't remember myself, but I know you have to put it in there. So there's a video, the AI one that explain what it does. And finally, we put transform dot look at. And now, what do we put? We put target. So if we were to set a target, we could fire anything at a fire, hopefully. No appropriate list for transform not look at game object. So target dot transform dot position. There we go. Now we play it. Well, not play it because we haven't done it yet. But that's as you can see, that's the script we need. It's on a missile. So as soon as we fire, it'll start this. It'll look at the target, get the distance, and push him towards it. And then he'll constantly look at it and then beep 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 boom and kill him. So the next thing we need is a button. Or a script so when we click on each um, ship or click on anything it'll bring up it as a target so we'll go to our uh, weapons again and we'll go in space create JavaScript and we'll call it target selection just like that so we can drag that onto all of our ships so red and blue ship this is only two of them and it's not completed yet it's completed boom so there's our target, so we load it up. So what we're going to do in this very, very short script is simply get rid of that, and in here, and on this we're going to type on mouse up. And then all we're going to do is set a target. So for this weird, it's kind of weird, we can't set a variable to this heat seeking because it's on something that's spawned each second. So we need something that holds a, a, another target, a temporary target if you like. But we can't use target selection again, because this, if this is attached to each ship, as we click on that ship, it's just going to fill itself. 
and then it's going to fill itself again and it won't work very well so we need it to access another script what's only used once for example our space fire access the variable inside it set the target and heat seeking gets the target from there that's what we need to do so really simple to do up here underneath integers we're going to um, create a new one and we'll call it targeting and we'll type var target and this will be a game object that simple so up here in our own mouse up as soon as we click the ship we go game object dot find uh, character dot get component space fire dot and then we type target equals game object so what we're doing is when we click it it sets it to whatever game object is being clicked that simple so when we come down here it's set the target it'll come down and it'll begin to fire it but yet we still haven't set the heat seeking one this is where we can do it after so we come down here and we don't before the overheating or after it doesn't matter we can type bullet missile dot game object dot get component and then we put heat underscore seeking dot target so now we edit in the actual target equals and it's a game object see so target equals target 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 then it comes up here and it'll do it that simple so it's bouncing off each other it's a bit weird so from the start we start with target selection put that to the end so we click a target adds it to our target it works space fire it'll add it to that target it'll come down to here and fire it but the only issue is what about if we don't select the target it's going to say well I can't do it what do I do then in that case we just need to push it forwards so what, what we can actually do is if we just type here if uh, target equals null then we tell it so if our target's null we add force to it so we'll type rigid body dot add force we can just copy it here it just saves time rigid body dot add force but what are we adding it to bullet body so bullet missile dot rigid body dot add force transform thousand so if the, we haven't selected the target it'll just fire it forward that simple otherwise else then we tell it to set the target and then it will fly towards the target that simple so this of course is going to be like what do I do what do I do but we can fix that so if we go here so if target equals null put your brackets in and then we put oh dear there destroy and then we need to get that game object in so game object get component heat seeking that so then it'll destroy that script so if we have to push it forward it destroys the script otherwise it'll add a target the target will go right get the distance fire really really cool so let's try it so what we're going to do is we'll fire normally with three and you'll see the missile just fires perfect but if we click on the actual person and we click fire we'll fire this way you'll see we never actually clicked on them so we'll try it again so we'll go up and see them there so we click in click and you'll see red ship and we fire this way boom and as you can see our missile definitely hit him but it's a bit glitchy and it was very very fast and the reason it's fast is because rigid when we fire on our space fire here normal it just simply pushes it forward at some speed but when we do it on our target selection, not target selection, heat seeking, it's timesing it by a huge amount. So if you remember, we only set our play speed to 3, or um, the enemy's speed. So we're going to set this to 10. In fact, that's 15. So it's a fast-ish missile. So nicely go up. You'll see it aim for him, then you'll see it whack him. But it's not going to kill him yet. And Because you know, there's a small glitch in it, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, there's a lot of glitches. I won't lie, but yeah. So we'll go up, and as you can see, it won't work when you try to click through your thing because it's a box. Now, I will have to fix that in the future, but you can just click across like that. And then you fire up here, and you'll see, boom, fires towards him, and then it'll impact on him, and whack. So it hit him, but it's not taking his life down or anything. As you can see, it's not hitting him. It's like it's not even touching him. So what we're going to do is go back to our enemy fire enemy AI here and this is how I usually test when something's not working so it's an experience for you so we're going to copy this missile clone here and in here we'll just type print 
uh, call dot game object dot name. So whatever hits the object, the enemy, it'll print what that object's called. So we should be able to see, hopefully. So we wait for it to load, and we load. What I'm also thinking is we could do EMP soon as well. That'd be cool. So we click it, press three, and fire, and then we wait for it to follow it. If we fly all the way up, you can see it's aiming for him wherever he's going to go, and it whacks him. And missile clone does hit him but it doesn't take his life down. So something's going wrong in this area here. So I'm guessing it doesn't like this all call and call. So we can get rid of this, put it here, and instead we'll put it above it, type in if call it again object equals missile, then we need to make it take enemy life down. So in here we'll just type um, enemy hit bracket bracket. So we'll copy this and paste it in this one as well, enemy hit. And then we can copy the entire contents of this uh, to this one. And is that it? Where is it? Uh, yep. Yeah. And then down here we'll type function enemy hit and paste it inside here. And as you can see, we now have a function that does it all for us. And it'll work the exact same, but it makes it a little bit smaller. It's quite long, but it's for an AI. And if you think that's long, you should see my inventory script. Wow. But yeah, so it'll destroy it, but then we paste it back up here, and it'll destroy both. So hopefully, it should work both ways. So we go back and click play, click on our enemy, fire, it should hit him, then blow up. It doesn't understand what call is. So obviously, somewhere in here, we've specified call. So we could either go in and take out everything what we need to, like, where is it? There. Mm, it's it's good, but it's a bit annoying, so we could just, actually, could save ourselves time. Copy the enemy damage and just paste it in here. And same again. So, saves you a lot of room there, we don't need that one. Well, not a lot, but yeah. So, that's all three things you need, works really, really well. Go back and try again. So, what we're going to do is go up and click on our enemy, and then we'll press 3 and fire, then zoom all the way up. And we should see impacting, distance is closing, and whack. So it hits him. Obviously we'll have to eventually put some countermeasures in so it can't attack you. But as you can see, his life is now minus 15. He should be dead. But he's not. So we'll fire again. Just because. It's funny. So, why isn't he dead? The reason he's not dead... Where's that missile now? There he is. So it is because on our actual script we've said if it's... I believe we've said if it's less than one. Well, he's dead that time, so it's hit him again. So, what we're going to do is go to our enemy AI here, and we'll scroll down to where he dies, so if enemy life... So the reason this is not killing him when it's below 35, so when we just shot him a minute ago, it was minus 35. But the reason it's not doing it when we actually tell it to here is because, in Unity, it's very weird on its time scale. So if I just open up a new one, um, you know minus is going minus 5, minus 4, Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and then 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, yes? When you go and say if it's less than or 1, it'll go less than or 1 there. But then it'll only go to 0. Going back up on here is basically saying more than. So if we change it to more than, it'll kill him no matter what his health, which is not what we want. But if we keep it at less than, it's only ever going to do it if he's at 0. The reason it does it when you shoot him again is because then it defines it as, well, it's gone definitely less than one, so it fires. It's really, really weird where it does, but it works. So, one more test just to make sure it definitely, definitely works. We'll shoot the blue guy. Actually, we can't shoot the blue guy, he's too fast, but you know what I mean. So, we'll find the red guy, click him, click fire, and we'll fire another one as well. So he's got two missiles incoming, it hit him, boom, boom. So don't worry about that error, that's basically just saying it can't move it because the act is dead. But, well he's gone now, but yeah, so he didn't drop no coins, the damn person. But yeah, that's a basic missile, we'll probably improve it next to Toad as well, make it even better. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.